All right, so we're going to jump on to reports here. So there are about 70 standard reports uh, for the lead type, or for each lead type. Um, and ultimately, they are going to depend on how you look at your business. Uh, the reports are broken down typically by uh, lead or insert date or by transaction date. Those may be significantly different depending on how you process things like refunds as well as your reprocessing procedures. Um, insert date is going to be when that lead entered into your system. Transaction date is going to be when that lead process, whether that is sold or refunded. Um, and then you'll see these reports have really awful names and that is because they are very specific. We are gonna take a look at more detail on the admin leads report in the time report section. So all of these reports can be set up as a time basis. And if you are gonna do anything uh, from an automation standpoint, this should be number one. So it's just the easiest way to have relevant data delivered from your lead system to you in whatever format that you want on a periodic basis. So most of those reports are aggregate reports. We'll look at things like, you know, total profit by source uh, or uh, leads received return by partner. The admin leads report is a little bit different. Uh, it is that all encompassing details each lead is a separate row uh, and in each field for that lead type for that lead is going to be um, a separate column in this report. Now what that does is gives us the ability to manipulate it. So if we go through this process, this is going to be setting up things like how the frequency or the period to look through, how that is being delivered to you, um, the, the frequency of send, whether that's every day, every hour. Uh, but then there are these other parameters. And so what these other parameters allow you to do is to set up this report to be sent to multiple people. So if we look at a code like you broker ID equals all, that would then send that broker their portion of this report only uh, so that you don't have to set up uh, a separate time report for each of those partners. Um, <clears throat> this can be used for brokers uh, and you can use additional code for only active or active filter sets, um, similarly with vendors. So again, this can be used to send that, uh, that line data to the relevant parties. And then lastly is the fields to send. So this would allow you to define what fields are sent in this report. So as I mentioned, the admin leads report has every single, uh, every single field as a separate column. If you only, for example, wanted to send something like, you know, email, um, and, uh, uh, source setting for, uh, this particular report, um, you could then define those here. Uh, I would say this is another place that our support team can, our client services team can help you in getting this initial thing set up. And then, uh, this is definitely a case where you would want to test before putting in parameters like all because you want to have a full understanding of exactly what is getting sent out of your system to each applicable person. 